Hello all, welcome to oratrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about the VBS extension. And this is the introduction series of VBS extension in Fusion ERP. So let's get into the outline. So the first thing we need to understand is we hear a different set of terminologies like a VB versus VBS, right? And the one, the first one is called, you know, like a visual builder. And the next one is build, Visual Builder Studio. So let us have a clarity on that. The VB, which is just a two liter word, it is used for the purpose of designing a custom applications and which has the hosting environment, deployment environment, as well as the database functionality. Or of course, it supports only 5GP of database. It has a limitation on database usage within the VBS provided VPC is provided instance okay this VP the first one which we are talking about is a part of you know like a YC layer and the YC we have around three environments generally Oracle provides like a, the first one is ICS next one is VBCS other one is like a, the PCS or maybe the latest name it is a different one so now the one which you're talking about the first one it is a VB and instead of calling VBCS you know, we generally refer to VB, okay? The other one, which we want to stress on today is like a Visual Builder Studio. So unlike the Visual Builder, this Visual Builder Studio will have a different set of functionality. It is almost similar to the developer cloud service, which was developed by Oracle long ago. And what does it provide? It provides an environment for the purpose of automating a CI CD functionality and managing source code using the GitHub. And also it provides extending the fusion applications so in earlier the fusion applications were designed using adf and we had a different way of personalizing or extending the pages but now as most of the pages are getting converted to vpcs now oracle is providing us a different way of extending the pages and that is via visual builder studio the visual builder studio by default it comes free with oracle fusion erp unlike the visual builder the first one, the VBCS is not a free, it is a pass platform. It is again, have a, its own license, but the Visual Builder Studio generally free for the any Oracle Cloud customer, as well as it is a free with the Oracle Fusion ERP, okay? And it does not have any database capability or does not have any its own server. So the only functionality it provides for us with respect to the Fusion ERP is it allows us to extend the pages and it allows us to deploy the pages within the Fusion ERP. Okay, now, so this is a hierarchy of a VP versus Visual Builder Studio. If you can observe here, the in the VP Studio, we have a visual development environment, nothing but the browser where you can modify the page. And it has set of tools like TAS, Agile related dashboard and wiki dashboard and a code which is based on a GitHub and the CICT platform where you can design your jobs and a pipeline and approval and even the code merge and all those things, you can check it out. Okay, but unlike the Visual Builder Cloud Service or VB, so it has its own hosting environment. It can create your custom objects. It can have, it has internal database limit of 5GP and also you can provide your REST invocations or you can create REST services and all those things using the VB functionality. Now, next slide. So some more information, Visual Builder Studio is a robust development platform that helps us to effectively manage work through all stages of life, life cycle. So as we said, it's nothing but a CI CD platform. Okay. And it is a, like how it has the major functionality generally we use frequently or Git or GitHub. Okay. And now, so within the Fusion ERP, some more information, what does it do? Right. So as we said, it allows us to extend the the pages which were designed using Fusion ERP. Within the Fusion ERP, the pages which were designed using VBCS, using this Visual Builder Studio, you can extend them. Nothing but you can modify them. You can add the fields, you can hit, hide the fields, you can add up some set of conditions, okay? And now within the, visual, like within the VBS, you know, we have two kinds of applications generally come across. The first one is application extension and the other one is called visual application. So in our today's session, we'll work on application extension. Okay, so this one more slide on the, the VBS environment. So like, what does it has? So generally 
the VPS on the high level, right? The first component in the hierarchy of the VPS is the organization. Under the organization, you'll have a project, nothing but the application extension. And this application extension is linked to any of your fusion environment. And then within the environment, whatever the code which you maintain, that will be linked to your Git repository. And then the remaining deployment comes into picture. Okay. And this again, like here, the, when you say environment, it is nothing but linked to your fusion application. Okay. Now in the Visual Builder Studio, as I said, the first component what you see is called organization. Once you click on the organization, it shows a list of projects. Maybe if you click on application extension and it shows a list of workspaces which are available in that particular application. And based on the workspace, you can navigate to the relevant one. So as of now, we have HCM, SCM as well as PRC, nothing but human capital, supply chain as well as PRC workspaces are available. Nothing but we have the Redwood or VPCS pages available in these particular modules. Okay. Now, so we'll just get into the major functionality. How do we perform extending or personalizing the Fusion ARP for the VBS pages, right? The first very minor thing is when, as we have two kinds of pages in the Fusion ARP, how do you identify whether that page belongs to ADF or it belongs to the Redwood or maybe the VPCS, right? So generally, if at all, if you see just edit pages, then it means it's ADF. If you see edit page in Visual Builder Studio, this is definitely not ADF. This is a, v, this is a VBCS page and wherein you have to use a VBS for the purpose of modifying the page or extending the page, right? Now, we would like to target our functionality on the purchase agreement pages page and here you can observe their purchase agreement that it is available two times but if at all if you see a new in a bracket it means that this is based on a vbcs page so click on the page and just next once you open the page click on edit page in visual builder studio you should be able to navigate now into the visual builder environment and it follows a certain set of hierarchy so the first thing is it will create a repository if it is not available if it is available it can you can select the existing one let us say i'll select with the existing recommended application extension and then it will create a workspace if it is not available okay and then you should be able to find out the page getting opened in the vbcs environment and here make sure that you select advanced function here, instead of express, you click on advanced. Once you click on advanced, it shows the page, you know, like a different set of properties you should be able to visualize in a very easier manner. And then what you do is select this particular region. Our target is to modify this region, add up some more extra fields. So click on this region and it shows the underlying rest object, which is the business object, which is linked to it. Click on that. And then it shows the fields property. Click on the fields and then select the fields, whichever you want to display. Once it is done, what you can do is you can just click on the preview on the top. You should be able to see the buttons like a preview as well as publish. And also left side, you can observe under which workspace you are in. So now I'm in the workspace procurement workspace in the extension PRC extension. And this is my Git repo. And here click on preview. Once you click on preview, it shows how does it look like when you publish it, right? So you can observe here. This is the above page is before publishing it or before preview or before modification and the below one is after modification and you should be able to observe here we are able to see supplier site and the other set of components which like a status and the buyer which we are not available earlier but now they are available because we have added them and once you have confirmed whether the preview is looking what you are expecting then what you can do is you can validate that preview with your analyst. And then if you think it is good, you can just perform publish. Once you click on publish, make sure that you provide your information like who is committing it or maybe the ticket number, something like that. And then click on publish. And then the get repo will get published. And again, the publishing may have a different functionality. If at all, it depends upon your organization, how they want to maintain the publishing functionality, whether they want to have a approval mechanism for the job or approval mechanism for the code match, those things. So for now, when you click on publish, the code should get published and it should get merged with the mainline environment, right? So after publishing and from the instance, I should be able to, I was able to see all the columns, like the columns which I added, like a buyer status as well as agreement number and supplier state. These were the four columns which are not available earlier, but now they are available after adding it, right? So yeah, so now we'll just get back to the instance and let's see how we can modify it. So 
first thing is like uh, this VBS environment. Generally, the VBS link should be able to be provided by your admin. And here, I'll just navigate to the VBS environment first. This is our VBS URL. And I clicked on organization. And here, it shows the application extension. So by default, it should be available mostly. And here, make sure that you're part of this user. Then only you should be able to work on the extension using the VBS. And in the application extension, I have these three workspaces because I have modified the PRC as well as SEM. That's why I was able to see PRC and SEM. And this is other developer would have modified. Now, once you click on this particular, and here if you observe this workspace is linked to an environment called ETAT, right? So nothing but this workspace is definitely linked, should be linked to a specific fusion environment. Let us, if I click on this one, it shows the details, like you can click on the service URI, it should be able to navigate your fusion application instance, right? And here there's a repo and will not get into other details as of now, just simply click on this fusion environment. And now we'll click on home and we'll navigate to procurement. And we'll try to modify the same page purchase agreement. We may try to add up some more extra fields now. So as of now, you can observe clearly, like uh, here we have supplier around three plus three plus one. So total seven fields we have, okay? So, and you can see the URL. So we are in the fusion instance only, not in the VBS environment in URL. So I'll just click on my user account, click on edit page in Visual Builder Studio. Once you click on this one, it will navigate to the VBS or the VBCS environment, I can say. Now it is asking which project, under which project you want to save this particular coding, right? All changes. I'll select my application extension, generally the recommended one. Click on select. It will select the appropriate application. Nothing but the project. Under the project, it will select the appropriate Git repository. Now the page is getting loaded in the VPCS, right? This is a Visual Builder runtime environment, right? The VPCS runtime environment. You can see the workspace and under the Git repository of this extension under this particular branch. Now, so as I said, you click on, make sure that you click on advanced. And here, let us say, we would like to modify this environment, right? So I just simply mouse over on this one and it shows this particular block, right? It cl clearly showing the block. So already we have a couple of fields which are already available. Let's say I'll click on the edit field here. And to say, I'd like to have agreement ID and I would like to have creation date. So I just added two fields, okay? And then I'll just click on close here. And you can also see the preview here itself. Let us say, you can just scroll down, right? Agreement ID and creation date, we're able to see it, but still what you can do is you can click on preview and it just takes a couple of seconds. It gets opened automatically in a new tab. And we should be able to see agreement ID as well as creation date, which we added just now, right? We are able to identify, we are able to see these two fields, okay? This is just during runtime, right? As of now, we are still in the extension environment, not in the mainline environment of your Fusion apps, Fusion ERP. So what I'll do is, let us say, I think, I'm thinking that it is all good. And instead of, you know, like if at all, if you want to refer to, if you at all, if you want to share this particular uh, link, to validate by the analyst you can just share it let us say if you think it is perfect let's say i'll click on publish and once you click on publish you can just mention the comment section let us say added agreement id and creation date and then click on publish now let's wait for a couple of seconds yep so it says we have deployed your extension and uh, So it's almost deployed. And now what I will do is let us say, I'll copy my fusion here, this one. I'll try to log in here. Let's see how it looks like. Click on the home procurement. Purchase agreements. Right, so we are able to see the agreement ID as well as creation date, which we just added, right? So this is how we can add up or, you know, like modify the fields using VBS. And this is all about a sample logic of, you know, like uh, adding the 
components using the VBCA, VPS extension functionality in the Fusion ERP. Thank you.